Daniel Tosh has made millions with little more than a green screen, an endless supply of internet videos to mock, and his envelope-pushing brand of edgy stand-up. While his persona on Tosh.0 is totally unfiltered, there's a lot you probably don't know about the popular comedian and clip show host. Until now, probably. Son of a Preacher Man the famously profane comedian actually grew up in a strict Presbyterian household, helmed by his minister father. Now known for his words and wit, Tosh spent his teenage years tight-lipped, at least while he was at home. I got a steady diet of kids should be seen and not heard. I knew to stay away from a scary dad. Papa Tosh eventually gave up the calling and became one of his son's biggest supporters. He even managed his son's MySpace calendar back in the day, when the internet actually looked like this. Unbelievable. In 2009, Tosh said his relationship with his father as an adult was wonderful. The comedian even credits his stern upbringing for making him who he is today. Don't keep the reins too tight on your son, or he'll grow up to be a comic. The lesson I think every parent could learn. Tosh Out of Water it's hard to believe someone as bold and brash as Daniel Tosh could have social anxiety, but it's true. He admitted in 2005 he's always had it, and he's not a huge fan of speaking in front of people, but something about comedy compelled him to face his fears. The first time he ever took the plunge, Tosh thought he was at a comedy club's open mic night, but it was actually a jazz club. Tosh being Tosh, he still took the stage and told his jokes. The reception, however, was lukewarm at best. His jokes about the size of Shaquille O'Neal's Magic Johnson, for instance, were met with actual rim shots. Behind Closed Doors Unlike many actors and comedians these days spilling their guts in Mark Merrin's garage, Tosh is notoriously private about his personal and romantic life. So of course I know the internet wants desperately to know if he is straight or gay, even though Tosh made it pretty clear in a 2005 interview saying, I do have a woman preference, that's my type. Like many comedians, Tosh sometimes makes what the industry calls jokes about his sexuality. Butter fight. <laughs> <laughs> Which, combined with his low profile, has led many online to take him seriously. Not that it's anyone's business, but according to a New York Times fashion and style article from 2009, Tosh once dated a woman named Megan Abrigo, also known as Briefcase Model No. 6 on the NBC game show Deal or No Deal. But rumor has it, by 2014, their whole deal was no more. Border Patrol Let's say you're watching reruns of Tosh.0 late one night, and suddenly you get this craving for Taco Bell. That could just be your little brain putting two and two together. You see, before he became one of Comedy Central's biggest stars, Tosh starred in a series of commercials for the fourth meal foisting fast food chain. All these spots ran in 2002, and featured an almost unrecognizable Tosh touting Taco Bell as a high-quality product for an insanely low price. One commercial took place in a fancy hotel, another on a private golf course, and another at a bank. So, if you find yourself craving a crunch wrap supreme during Tosh's latest web redemption, your mind is probably being triggered by Tosh's frat boy phrasing. Hey Pavlov, you dog teasing dick! How's this for positive reinforcement? <laughs> Not so memorable performances. Tosh's acting roles that didn't involve peddling tacos are limited, and he'd rather they were forgotten. There's that time on MTV's Punk, for example, where he broke into Mackay Pfeiffer's car. Daniel's gonna be the criminal that broke into the car. When you get a haircut like that, you look guilty. But perhaps his least celebrated performance is his minor role in the very major 2008 flop of The Love Guru. Looks like I'm gonna have to shove these love beads someplace special. Spoiler alert, he doesn't. He instead gets punched in the face by the love guru himself, Mike Myers. Tosh claimed he never even watched the movie, which earned him a dreaded Razzie Award since the flick won Worst Picture, an accolade he says he's quite proud of. For what it's worth, Tosh admits he's not a skilled thespian, once telling a room of reporters, I'm not a good actor, I can play myself, and a much gayer version of myself, that's about my range. <laughs> I'm such a salami. Thanks for watching! Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!